This recording is to show the basic features of the 3100 Bondoscope. Also to show basic setups for resonance, pitch catch, and MIA mode. I'd like to start off by showing the front panel of the Bondoscope 3100. This is the on-off function key. This button will turn the gauge on and off. This button is a direct access to setups. Any setup that is stored in the gauge, any user setup, uh, any user setup uh, that the operator puts in the gauge is accessible here. Gain controls the overall gain in the residence mode and pitch catch in MIA modes. Menu escape is a dual function button. Pressing it one will get you into the main menu. Also pressing it uh, any time that you're making any changes in the menu structure will allow you to get out of that change. A null button, null button uh, required when we're nulling on a part. Resonance mode, um, MIA mode, and pitch catch mode when we're setting up looking at phase. The inner button is used any time that any input that you put in on the screen needs to be inputted whether it's range, gain, setting up the gauge frequency. Once those are set, you hit enter, it'll set those. Profile, uh, we have the profile mode, um, peak amplitude profile or scan, the uh, phase profile or scan, and the signature mode. RF dots will allow you to toggle between the RF waveform that's used on uh, pitch catch and MIA to the impedance plane uh, dot display that's used uh, that can be used in resonance, MIA, and pitch catch. Sweep mode. Sweep mode is uh, where we use uh, initially to do initial calibrations in all three modes. Uh, we also have an optional feature which we do a swept frequency mode. Gates uh, allow us direct access and changing any of the gate applications that we have. An alarm allows you to turn the alarm on and off. We also have up, up, down, left, right arrow keys and a, a knob that will also change um, what you want to adjust by pressing the button it highlights that and you can make the adjustments and I'll show you a little bit as we go in our calibration how that's done this is the top of the 3100 showing all the uh, connectors this connector is our 8-pin connector, similar to the uh, connectors that we use on the Bondscope 300. It's an 8-pin, so that we can use the 8-pin connector um, and our pitch catch probes uh, with this connector here. This is the 11-pin connector, similar to uh, the Stavely connector. Uh, I believe that the these gauges are all ordered with 11-pin connectors. So this is the connector that you'll be using mainly. Uh, we have three cables that are uh, coming with this product. Uh, 11 pin to 8 pin. Uh, 11 pin to 11 pin that will be used for the um, MIA probe. The 11 pin to 8 pin will be used with the pitch catch. And we have an 11 pin to Hiroshi connector that will be used with the resonance probes. This is our I.O. output port, um, if so equipped, it will have the capabilities of providing uh, X, Y, phase, and magnitude outputs 
and a TTL so that uh, the information coming from the gauge can be output to other equipment. More on this uh, when the manual is finished. And this one is the uh, charger port. Uh, you'll see that we have a charger, an outboard charger that allows you to charge the battery that's in the gauge. You don't have to remove the battery, you can charge it in the cage, and you can operate the gauge while it is in the charge mode. This is the cover. Uh, two screws remove the cover. The battery is accessible from the top. This is the bottom of the gauge. Uh, we do have on the bottom of the gauge a USB port. We have a USB cable. This USB port is used when downloading all the information to and from the gauge from the uh, software that's provided with the gauge.